Creepy and surprising facts about life in Nigeria. Nigeria, a place of immense beauty and power, hides and celebrates some truly creepy secrets. Beneath the surface lie some dark tales and hidden mysteries. What surprising things lurk within this majestic place? Let's uncover their unsettling secrets that the Nigerians would rather keep hidden. Number 1. Living in Lagos? More like living in Lagos traffic. Lagos, the largest city in Nigeria, is like a giant blender on rush hour. Traffic here could have its own reality TV show. You're not driving, you're surviving. The average commute can be longer than some Netflix series. Did you know? People spend up to four hours a day just stuck in traffic. If you think that sounds bad, think of it as free time to finally catch up on those podcasts. Lagosians are practically masters of multitasking behind the wheel. In Lagos, honking your horn is a language all its own. There's the friendly toot, the get out of my way, blast, and I'm just bored beep. It's an orchestra of chaos that somehow works. The famous yellow Danfo buses, they're basically Mario Kart on steroids. These minibuses can squeeze through spaces no one thought possible, define all laws of physics, and probably a few traffic laws too. Fun fact, people have been known to carry goats, chickens, and even refrigerators on motorcycles, which are called Okadas. It's basically a moving farm or mini appliance store, no extra delivery fees. Lagosians take pride in this daily madness. If you can navigate Lagos traffic, you can survive anything, except maybe Mondays. Mondays are unbeatable. Number 2. The Jalof Rice Wars, Nigeria vs. Everybody, let's settle this once and for all. Nigerian Jalof is a Beyonce of rice dishes, period. And anyone who says otherwise probably hasn't tasted it made by a proper Nigerian grandma with decades of rice wisdom. If you ever want to start a debate at a Nigerian gathering, just say, Ghanaian Jalof is better. What follows might resemble a courtroom drama complete with evidence, spicy rice samples, and passionate closing arguments. Nigerian jollof isn't just food, it's a national symbol. This spicy, tomato-based rice dish is the star of every party, wedding, and funeral. Yes, even funerals get jollof it up. Rumor has it, Nigerian jollof is so good, people have crossed borders just to have a taste. Cross-border rice relations, anyone? Who knew rice could be such a diplomatic issue? Not just for the taste buds, Nigerian jollof also serves as a peacekeeping agent. Try throwing a party without it. You'll have guests storming out faster than you can say, where's the rice? The secret? Every Nigerian chef has their own secret ingredient. Some say it's love. Others say it's a well-guarded spice blend passed down from the ancestors. Either way, it's addictive. Number 3. Nigerian Weddings Where guest lists have their own postal codes. Nigerian weddings are like blockbuster films. They're extravagant, filled with drama, and always come with a sequel, sometimes two or three. If you're invited, clear your entire weekend. It's going to be a marathon, not a sprint. The guest lists are legendary. Think you can get away with inviting a modest 100 people? That's cute. Nigerian weddings usually have 1,000 guests minimum, and that's just the immediate family. Here's a fun fact. Nigerian weddings require two ceremonies, the traditional and the church wedding. It's basically a wedding double feature, complete with wardrobe changes and, of course, more jollof rice than you've ever seen. Nigerian weddings are a fashion show like no other. The outfits are glamorous and also a bee, matching fabrics for friends and family. Take center stage. You'll find people coordinating better than a synchronized swimming team. Spraying cash is a must. Guests shower the bride and groom with money during dances. Think of it as making it rain but classier. And if you're not spring, are you even at a Nigerian wedding? Beware of the food and drink marathon. Nigerian weddings are known to feed their guests like they're preparing them for hibernation. If you leave hungry, that's your fault, not theirs. Number 4. The Nigerian Prince Email Scam Spoiler, he's not royalty. Nigeria is famous for its internet scams, especially the legendary Nigerian Prince Email. You know the one. A prince offering you millions if you can just send him a small upfront fee? Yeah, that one. But here's the twist. Nigeria doesn't even have a monarchy. So where are all these princes coming from? It's like a royal family reunion that doesn't exist but still manages to steal your wallet. Scammers, often called Yahoo Boys, are so notorious that they become a part of pop culture. There's even a Yahoo Boy fashion style. 
a unique blend of flashy outfits and laptops. In reality, most Nigerians are hardworking and honest. These scammers are just a tiny percentage of the population, but they've given Nigeria an unwanted reputation as the scam capital of the world. Nigerian law enforcement, notably the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the FCC, has been working hard to crack down on these schemes. They've even made some high-profile arrests, bringing down princes one scam at a time. Fun fact. Despite their shady reputation, Yahoo Boys have inspired songs, movies, and even memes. They're Nigeria's least loved pop culture icons. But hey, at least they're famous, right? Number 5. Nalawood. More movies than you can shake a stick at. Nalawood, Nigeria's film industry, churns out more films per year than Hollywood. We're talking about over 2,500 films annually. Yes, Nalawood could probably make a movie about your life story by next Tuesday. Nalawood is known for its low-budget productions and unique special effects. Watching these movies feels like stepping into an alternate reality where anything is possible, including time travel with a Nokia 3310. Despite their modest budgets, Nalawood films are packed with dramatic flair, over-the-top acting, plot twists you didn't see coming, and scenes that will make you question every movie logic you've ever known. Nalawood actors are celebrities in their own right. Forget Hollywood. Nigerian stars like Genevieve Naji and Ramsey Nua have amassed huge followings both in Africa and internationally. Fun fact, Nalawood films often focus on moral lessons. They're like life lessons wrapped in melodrama. Because who doesn't want to learn about forgiveness while someone's mother-in-law throws curses and chickens at them? Nalawood movies have a cult following, and some fans even prefer them over big-budget Hollywood films. If you haven't seen a Nalawood movie yet, buckle up. It's going to be a wild ride. Number 6. Religions of Nigeria From shrines to megachurches, Nigeria is a country where religion is life. Whether you're Christian, Muslim, or part of a traditional belief system, worship here isn't just a Sunday thing, it's an everyday thing. Nigeria has the largest Christian population in Africa, and many of the country's megachurches could easily double as stadiums. We're talking about churches so big, they have their own cafeterias parking lots, and sometimes even helipads. On Fridays, the mosques are packed to the brim. Islam is equally prominent, especially in the north. Fridays here are practically a public holiday. Everyone's headed to the mosque to pray. Traditional religions still thrive, too. From the worship of ancestors to powerful deities like Shango and Ogun, these practices have survived despite the spread of Christianity and Islam. Talk about cultural resilience. Nigeria is also home to some of the most powerful religious leaders in the world. From pastors to imams, their influence spans beyond Nigeria's borders. Sermons here are streamed worldwide. Fun fact, religious holidays in Nigeria are celebrated with so much joy, you might think every week is a festival. Whether it's Christmas, Eid, or a traditional festival, Nigerians know how to throw a religious party like no other. Number seven, power outages, a national pastime. Welcome to Nigeria, where electricity is so unpredictable, it should have its own soap opera. Power outages, known locally as NEPA, are more common than rain during the rainy season. The acronym NEPA has become a joke. Never expect power always. If you're living in Nigeria, you'll develop a sixth sense for when the power is about to go out. It's like an unscheduled game of hide-and-seek between you and your electricity, except you always lose. Many homes and businesses rely on generators, which have become a staple of daily life. Don't be surprised to hear a symphony of buzzing generators at night. It's like white noise to most Nigerians. Fun fact. Candle sales in Nigeria are booming, not because of romance, but because of necessity. Forget candlelit dinners. Here, you might just need a candlelit breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Despite the unreliable power supply, Nigerians remain incredibly resourceful. They've mastered the art of jug-ad, creative problem-solving, making sure life carries on no matter how dark things get, literally. Nipa memes are a huge hit on Nigerian social media. Every time the power goes out, you can expect a flood of jokes, gifs, and videos about the struggle. It's like therapy through humor. Number 8. Pidgin English. The real lingua franca. In Nigeria, communication is as colorful as a Nollywood movie. Forget formal English. Pidgin English is a language that connects everyone, from the streets of Lagos to the marketplaces of Kano. 
Pidgin is a lively mix of English and local languages. It's like regular English, but way more fun. You don't say, how are you? You say, how you day? See, instant swag upgrade. Nigerian Pidgin can be so diverse that even native speakers get lost in translation. Different regions have their own spins on it. Making conversations feel like a linguistic adventure. Bring your dictionary. It's not just street slang. Pidgin English has become a major part of Nigerian pop culture. It's used in music, movies, and even news reports, making it the language of the people one everyone can vibe with. Pidgin is also hilariously expressive. For example, Wala means trouble, but saying no wala is like saying no worries in a way that sounds so chill, even your stress levels go down. Fun fact, Nigeria's love for Pidgin has gone global. Nigerian musicians like Burna Boy and Wizkid have taken the language to international stages, spreading the Nigerian vibe worldwide. No wala. Number 9. The Nigerian Hustle. Entrepreneurship on Steroids. Nigeria's unofficial motto should be, if you don't hustle, you don't eat. Nigerians are some of the most entrepreneurial people in the world, turning even the smallest opportunity into a business venture. Lagos, for instance, is like a giant outdoor marketplace. Every street corner has someone selling something, whether it's food, electronics, clothes, or, yes, even live animals. The Nigerian hustle is real. From tech startups to fashion brands, Nigerians are innovators at heart. The country is a hub for creativity and business, with cities like Lagos and Abuja becoming the Silicon Valley of Africa, except with more spicy food and vibrant nightlife. Nigerians have perfected the art of side hustles. It's not unusual for someone to have a full-time job, plus three side gigs. Who needs free time when you can have three paychecks? Fun fact. Nigerians don't just hustle within the country. They're making waves globally. From international trade to groundbreaking startups, Nigerian entrepreneurs are redefining what it means to make it. Whether it's in business, entertainment, or just daily survival, Nigerians are resilient, resourceful, and relentless. The Nigerian hustle isn't just a lifestyle, it's a way of life. Number 10. Afrobeats. The rhythm of a nation. Nigerian Afrobeats is a global sensation, with artists like Burna Boy, Wizkit, and Davido topping charts around the world. The genre has become Nigeria's greatest export after oil, except way more fun and with better beats. Afrobeats isn't just music, it's a movement. It blends traditional African sounds with modern beats, creating a vibe that's impossible not to dance to, even if you've got two left feet. Fun fact. The term Afrobeats was coined in the early 2000s, but its roots go back to Fela Kuti's Afrobeat music of the 1970s. Today's Afrobeats is a fusion of diverse styles, reflecting Nigeria's rich musical heritage. Afrobeats parties are legendary. In Nigeria, you're not just dancing, you're engaging in an unspoken cultural ritual. If you don't break a sweat by the end of the night, were you even really dancing? Nigeria's Afrobeat scene is also known for its wild music videos. Expect colorful outfits, high energy choreography, and plenty of swagger. Afrobeat's artists are like the rock stars of Africa, except they might actually be cooler. With its infectious beats and global influence, Afrobeats is more than just music for Nigerians. It's a source of national pride. If you're not already dancing to Afrobeats, trust us, you will be soon. And that's it from this video. See you in the next one.